Hi, welcome to Infinite Possibilities, brought to you by Infinite Heart Space. I'm Shari Zar. As we're moving into a new year, it's a great time to reflect backwards as well as look forwards. So today, we're going to explore an exercise that allows you to do just that. What you're going to need is at least a minimum of four pieces of paper and something to write with. I suggest grabbing a couple more pieces of paper because you may be inspired by this exercise to keep going. Now, even if you are not a writer, I've got plenty of people that are gonna say, oh, writing is not my thing. Go ahead and give this a try. You might be surprised at what you find comes out and flows out on paper. So stop your video here, go find yourself a number of pieces of paper and some pens, and come on back and join me again. Hi, welcome back. So hopefully now you have your pen and paper, and we're gonna look at first our accomplishments over the past year. Take your first piece of paper, and at the top, write my accomplishments of the past year. My accomplishments of the past year. You might also want to note what year it is so that when you do this in future times, you can look back and know when you wrote this, All right? So we're starting with your accomplishments of the past year. Go ahead, close your eyes, sit up nice and tall, and let's get started. So as you close your eyes, we're going to take a couple of clearing breaths for ourselves first. So take a nice deep breath in and let it go. And again, deep breath in and release. And one more time, deep breath in and let it go. And now sitting still with your eyes closed, start to look back at your past year and what you've accomplished. Things could be small or maybe you accomplished something large. It could be something like I've been more patient with my kids or I showed up to work on time more often. Whatever it is, start to reflect back on your year and see what comes up for you. When you started to come up with a couple of things, open your eyes and start to write them down on the paper. You can write full sentences, you can write partial sentences, or if you prefer to write paragraph, that's fine. Whatever makes you comfortable in jotting down the things that you accomplished celebrate the things that you accomplished. So again, stop this video right now. Write down everything you can reflect. Go all the way back to the end of the year and they don't have to be in any kind of order. So if things come up for you later, you can always add them. So go ahead and turn this off and turn back to me when you feel like you've gotten everything out that comes up for you. Fantastic, so hopefully you've written everything down. So now what I want you to do for this past year with all your accomplished at the bottom of the paper in big bold letters, write great job. And celebrate, yay, all the things that you did. Great job. All right, let's move on to the next section. So now we're gonna look at forgiving others. So as other people have wronged us, whether intentionally or unintentionally, it's important to let go of the anger or fear that may have been created inside ourselves. We don't want to carry that with us into the new year. So on your second piece of paper or whatever sheet you're on right now, write, I forgive others. At the top, go ahead, I forgive others. And now close your eyes and think through if there's anyone in your past year that may have done something verbally or non-verbally, intentionally or unintentionally, that made you feel bad. All right, I know sometimes that's not so great to have to think about, but it's important so that we can release it and not take us with, with us into the new year. So go ahead, think if there's anything that you want to let go of or need to let go of. As those things come up for you, open your eyes and write them down on this sheet of paper. I forgive, name that person, and state why you forgive them, what they did for you or to you. I know this can be a little bit more challenging than celebrating your accomplishments, but it's really important. So go ahead, stop the video and take the time to place down on this piece of paper anybody that may have hurt you 
and that you forgive them. Join back with me when you feel that you've captured what you need to. Okay, welcome back. So hopefully you've jotted down all the people that you're ready to forgive. And at the bottom of this paper, I want you to write, I release how others made me feel and I forgive them. I release how others made me feel and I forgive them. Got it down? All right, we're gonna come back to this piece of paper later. Let's move on to the next section. Now, the biggest person that can be our biggest critic is ourselves. So we also need to forgive ourselves. So at the top of your next piece of paper, write, I forgive myself. I forgive myself. Ready? All right, this also can be a hard exercise. I want you to close your eyes and think of how you used self-judgment against yourself. We can be our worst critics. So what did you tell yourself this year that you weren't good enough or you should have, I could have? What are those things that limited yourself or judged yourself? And when you're ready, go ahead, open your eyes and start to write those down on the piece of paper. Say, I forgive myself for whatever it is. This is an important part of this exercise as well. So go ahead, take your time and think about what you need to forgive yourself for in limiting what you did in this past year. Again, you can stop this video and return back when you're ready. Okay, so now you've forgiven yourself on this piece of paper and at the bottom what I want you to release or, or write is I release all my self-judgment and I'm living my best self. I release all my self-judgment and I am living as my best self. How does that make you feel? I'm living as my best self. That can be very powerful. So make sure you write that on the piece of paper. Ready to move on to the next section? Let's go. All right, so now we're gonna look forward into the next year or the next transition of your life. And we're gonna set the intentions of what you want to create for yourself. Important in this section is to dream big. So don't think very limiting of, oh, I can't get this done. Oh, I'd really like to do this, but it'll never happen. Let all of that go and dream big. Now remember with intentions, the important thing to do is to put it in the format of I am or it already exists. Okay, so not I wish I had a more fulfilling job. Instead, it might be I am working in a very fulfilling job. So make sure that it's not the wishes that you're putting on paper. It's that you've already set your intention that you will arrive at this state of being. So I want you to again, close your eyes. Think of all your heart's desires for this coming year. What would you like to accomplish? What would you like to see be created in your life? How would you like to shape your relationships? So go ahead, turn this video off for the moment, think through your intentions for the coming year and start to write them down on your next sheet of paper. If you haven't already at the top, write my intentions for the year. All right, so go ahead, think big and join me back here. Fantastic, so hopefully you've captured all your intentions. And now at the bottom of the paper, I want you to write, I release my intentions out into the universe. I release my intentions out into the universe. Now that you've put them out there, it's the universe's role to take them forward. Not to say you don't have a part in it, but you released what you are looking to create in your next year. All right, so, now we're gonna go into the final part of this exercise. So now we have four sections of papers. My accomplishments of the past year, forgiving others, forgiving yourself, and your intentions for the coming year. 
So with the accomplishments of my past year, I want you to go ahead and read through them again and really celebrate for yourself. Make yourself feel strong and good about what you accomplished. It was a good year for you. There may have been challenges, but that's okay. You accomplished things. Next, you're going to take the I forgive others sheet and you're either going to tear it up into really tiny pieces or if you have a fireplace, maybe light a fire and throw those pieces into the fire. You're also going to do the same thing with I forgive myself. Take that and feel good about tearing it up. All those things you're ready to release, tear, 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 and then throw them into a fire or destroy them in any safe way that you can. Some people like to put them on the, on the floor and stomp on them. Just get the anger out of it and just release it. Let it be all gone so you can move forward in your life. And then next, your list of intentions. I want you to read them out loud, strong with conviction. Remember, they're in the positive statements, so you're going to say them with conviction. And then you can take these and you can place them someplace private for yourself, maybe on your mirror in the morning that you're going to see, or maybe it's something you want a little bit more in display on your refrigerator, someplace that you're going to see them regularly, that you may repeat them out loud, again, with that conviction, letting the universe do its work. So hopefully this exercise helps you reflect back on this past year and all that you've accomplished. Let go of some of the things that you no longer need to hold on to. And then look at all the wonderful things that you're ready to create in your life. So you can do this exercise again when you're moving from one year to another or any transition point in your life. If there's a big change for you, go ahead, experience this exercise again. And come back and look as you go through your year, how you're moving along. And hopefully you'll find that you're making huge progress in growing and becoming the best you. Email me or write below some comments about how this exercise made you feel and visit back. Let me have a status as you move through the year, how it's going for you. I wish you a wonderful upcoming time in your life. And remember that life is an adventure. Live it with joy, pleasure, and may you find abundance. I'm Sherry Zarr. Have a fantastic year.